Joe, how pleasing with just a couple of games left was it to come and put in a, a performance like that at a place like this? Yeah, really pleasing. We've uh, we've had a tough year. Everyone has, and I think to get a point at uh, such a such a famous ground against a very good team is really pleasing, especially in front of the fans. It was far from a smash and grab as well. I like, obviously went went behind, but then um, kept fighting, fighting, and got our just just desserts in the end. Yeah, I've said I've said it in a couple of interviews previously. Lack of quality at times, I think this season, but never a lack of fight. And uh, today, that was I think exactly what what we showed. So yeah, nice to get a result. Talks through the goal. Obviously, Bobby's in a bit of assisting form at the moment. It's a good cross for you. Well, me and Bob's always have this thing that it's normally me smashing balls across the box and yelling at him that he's not in there. So I thought, as he's about to cross it, I'm like. If I'm not here, practice what you preach. So I've just gone to stuck my eyes for it. So, um, just a, was it a gamble going up? Like you not, don't often find yourself in the six-yard box getting all the end of crosses. Well, right, playing wing back, you got to get in the back post and contribute, haven't you? You've got to get goals and assists. So yeah, that was my aim today was to make some some form of goal or assist contribution at the right end of the pitch. <laughs> and obviously, um, just getting back in the team as well. That's got to be a massive boost for you. It's been a frustrating year. Um, Obviously, I'm used to playing, and it's been very frustrating. I've said it in other uh, other places that it's been a, it's been a learning curve for me, and and I'm gonna go away on my summer break and work as hard as I can to make sure that I'm playing regular football next year. But when you when you get a chance, you want to kind of make a statement, show that you should be in the team, and I'm sure you feel like you did that tonight. Yeah, well, first half it took me a while to, to sort of get my feet. It's a tough place to come, and they were right out the traps us, but. Second half, I think, settled down and yeah, nice to, bit of a cliche, but nice to grab a goal and a point. Uh, obviously, we had fans back today, not, yep. not our fans, but um, yeah, it's nice being booed again. I was going to say yeah. ten thousand them booing you for yeah, simulating yeah, an injury, great. apparently. It's just great. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, what for a fake injury? Yeah. <laughs> Football, we love it. We yeah. love uh, we love the fans, whether they're booing or, or or cheering. I think it's just nice energy and nice to have them back in. Slight concern when the VAR check went on for as long as it did for your goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was thinking this gets disallowed sums up my whole season. Um, it didn't. Yep. We're happy. Got a point. We'll go home and we'll have a good time. And what was your take on the opener? Because um, real time looked like a, a wonderful goal, but then um, watching it back, not quite sure how it's been allowed. Can't argue with decisions, can you? What's the decisions made? There's no point in dwelling on it. Football. That's why we love it. Talking points. Yeah. In the pub because they're open. And uh, just finally, yeah, we've obviously got a taste of having fans back in today. Yep. Our own fans yep. on Sunday. Must be looking forward to that and hopefully going out on a high. Yeah, for sure. We're obviously disappointed that we haven't stayed up and provided them with Premier League football to look forward to next year. But it'll be nice to see them again. We've not seen them since the Liverpool game. Mm -hmm. yep. And it'll be nice to give them a clap. And yeah, we're appreciative of their support all year on social media. On uh, Yeah, it's only been social media, so 